Hey guys, welcome back to part four for the Q and A. Uh, okay, we're now on to five questions from Mark over here. Uh, question number one: <laughs> Would you try snus tactics for an iron cheese sandwich? Well, I don't know. I, I, the reaction so far, the response video has been quite positive, and uh, I understand it's quite tasty, so I, I might be tempted. But um, I don't know. It seems like a bit of a strange combination. I don't know if I could eat that or not. I might puke. But uh, I don't know, mate. I'll, I'll give it a thought and uh, I'll give it a think, even and I'll see what I, if I decide to do it. I'll do a response video because uh, I hear that fantastic guy's pretty good and he just uh, makes some great videos and got some good contents up. So yeah, I might go and check his channel out when I get a chance. <laughs> Um, question number two. What's your favourite Sega CD game? Uh, as my Sega CD doesn't work, I don't know. Um, I can only go by the same Final Fight CD because I played it in the past and it is just a fantastic conversion and it is absolutely the best, closest version you get to the arcade. I'm not so keen on the music as much on the game, the in game music. And here's an interesting point, I don't want to sound quite swat here, but um, the other day, Anime, was do Anime 187 was doing a gameplay. Uh, he did like four games in a row for his Halloween special. And I, I think it was Castlevania 1 on the NES. And he was like playing it and he goes, oh, it's some really cool BGM. And then I just suddenly clicked in my head that BGM means background music. And I'm assuming that's what it means anyway. For years, since I was like little, I've never knew what BGM meant. I used to sit in the menus for Street Fighter and I never had a clue. Uh, and there's just some reason when Anime said it the other day, it just clicked in my head and I was like, shit, it means background music. <laughs> Not so dumb for not knowing that. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Question number three: uh, Are there any good sides to emulators? If so, what are they? Uh, yeah, I do think there are actually. Uh, I'm not an emulator fan generally. I think I much prefer to use the uh, actual physical console and joypad. I found recently I've been playing. I played the SNES emulator on the Xbox, my, my uh, loose Xbox, just basically so I could run through some SNES games and find any games I've never heard of that I've never played uh, and see if they're worth buying or not. Which is a, a, a positive thing for emulators, I find, with console emulators, because at least you can try before you buy. However, I find that when I was using the Xbox Pad, it just, it just doesn't fit. I can't really explain it, but you don't. the interaction isn't right. When you sit down with the SNES and you feel the actual proper control in your hand and you're playing on the proper console, for some reason it just feels far superior. The only real emulator that I think is worthwhile is going to be main, because obviously no one. You know, unless you're very, very rich, you ain't going to be able to afford all the arcade cabinets you want. And if you, if you could afford them, where are you going to store them? You need a big house. So yeah, main is probably the only viable one. But um, you know, as I say, old console ones are good just to try games before you buy them. And then you have games that are so bloody expensive you can't buy them, so the only way to play them is on an emulator. Games like Final Fight 3, which you know, go for over £100 at a time if you get a box one. You know, and it's, it's a lot of money for one game. So yeah. It's it's you know, hard to say that there's pros and cons. It's not, I don't think it's straightforward anyway. Question number four is what would you do if YouTube wasn't free anymore? Well, mate, I don't know why you asked that, but I hope to God it never happened. So <laughs> uh, if they made it uh, a pay service, that would really suck. I think they'd lose a lot of subscribers and people would just give up on it and they'd just go to the next free option. Uh, it's just a bit like the way people are getting pissed off with eBay with their stupid uh, charges because they're just ripping people off. Uh, and really the viable alternative for eBay as well, that's another thing. But it depends if it was like, I don't know, say £5 a month or something. I might be tempted to stick around because £5 a month isn't that bad. But more than likely, being a big corporate company, they'd get too big for the boots and charge ridiculous like 25 quid a month or something and kiss my ass for that. There's no way I'd do it. And I'd just go and try and find the next free site and hopefully all of you guys would move with us and we'd all congregate together there. And the last question from Mark here is question number five, which is, will YouTube exist five years from now? Um, I hope so. I want to be here in five years, still doing this for you guys. Uh, you know, Imagine what our collections would be like in five years' time, my God. Uh, we must have bloody moved for games and consoles. <laughs> but uh, I hope it is, and if it isn't, then hopefully we'll have found an alternative, because um, it'd be nice to keep in touch with everybody, because I really like this community, and it's great fun making these videos. Our next question has come from my mate Adam, uh, Sandum Todd. Hello Adam. Uh, question number one, do you all have any siblings? No I don't Adam, uh, just me. Uh, no boys, no sisters, only child I'm afraid. Um, question number two, do you have five facts left I need someone to tag? <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm stuck. <laughs> I was hoping no one was going to tag me anytime soon because I really can't think of anything. Um, oh, I actually just thought I'd been tagged by somebody, I've got to check that out. Um, who was it that tagged me? Shit, I got a PM the other day, I've got to check that. Um, 
So if you're watching this dude, I will do your tag video. <coughs> I'll, I'll just find that, find your private message and check out your tag video and see what I've got to do. Because I forgot about that, I'm sorry. Uh, question number three from Adam. Would you answer someone else's questions? Uh, because m mine are horrible. <laughs> okay then dude, I'll move on. <laughs> Uh, next question is from the legend of Mario Brothers, and uh, he wants to know what is your favourite platformer? Uh, Mario World, Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. I was always like that between Mario World and Mario 3, but I've been I've been playing Mario 3 recently, and it's really good. But Mario World's far superior, um, just because of the little things extra you can do. Uh, I found out Mario 3 for some reason you can't look up and throw a shell in the air. That pissed me off. Um, but then I really like new Super Mario Bros on the DS because I like the fact that you can like, bounce off walls and you're going to fall down a hole, which is really helpful. So, I don't know, Mario, I'd just say Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros in general, they're all just fantastic games and each one gets better and better. Okay, next one is from uh, my good friend Eternia Boy, really nice bloke, great channel, really highly recommend that. And he's going to do a game uh, game room video short, he's going to tour around because he's getting all his stuff out of storage and he's got shit loads. So I'm really looking forward to watching that, I can't wait to see that if it's going to be cool. Uh, and Eternia Boy wants to know what are my top three cartoon series of all time and why. Now Eternia Boy is a massive He-Man fan. If you watch his videos, you'll see his figures and they're really cool. Him and Creed Boy got some really nice figurines. Um, top three. Ooh, that is tough. When I was a kid, because I, mean, I got a background when I was a kid, because I don't really watch cartoons now. I would have said He-Man would have been number one without a doubt when I was a kid, because I was a massive He-Man fan. Um, I didn't have a lot of figurines, but I had a few. I never got to have Battle Cat, I never got to have Grey Skull. But I did get the uh, the He Man with the caps in him. No, I didn't. I got, my mate got He Man with the caps. I got Skeletor with a dragon on his shoulder, and he takes his head off and it sprays water. Uh, and I had, um, had Taylor Man at Arms. I had, um, what was that one? There was one that um, Creed Boy had the other day, and I can't remember, it was like Buzz Off or something. It was uh, like a Bumblebee with wings. That was a really cool one. I love that. Um, yeah, that was my favourite one. Uh, number two would be Thundercats because Thundercats was just awful, awesome. It was really great cartoon, uh, really interesting concepts and all, really strange but cool. And the third one would be Mask. I don't remember a lot about Mask anymore, on Bosch, but I know when I was a kid I was really into it and uh, I had quite a few of the figures and that. And I had a friend who had pretty much all of the, all of the different characters. He had the whole bloody set. I used to go around his house and play and play with them. Uh, and yeah, Mask was a really really great. Also, like the Centurions as well. You know, that was a quality show. There's a, there's a lot, a lot of good quality shows in the 80s. Uh, Shame they don't make them like that anymore. So yeah, that's it then, guys. That's that's the end of the Q and A for my 300 subs. And I just want to end by saying a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. Really appreciate all of the support I've had. Um, thank you for co coming on, watching my videos, and commenting and rating. I really appreciate getting all your comments. I love that. And people who private message me and all, thank you for doing that. It's nice, you know, nice to have a conversation now and again. Uh, and yeah, keep on gaming.